Hello everyone and good evening. So as you can see here, we have uh, three peedlings in front of us. Um, now these are all still very young. The Heroes and the Rio Grande here are um, at almost the same life stage. I want to say the Heroes is probably one molt ahead of this uh, Rio Grande. And this Rio Grande right here just molted uh, about three days ago. Um, so he's still looking kind of squishy and he's not super fat yet. Um, but anyways, this third cup, uh, we have the most interesting specimen in, um, and that one is the Scolopendra species Ecuador, um, or what people used to call Robusta, or uh, now they're calling them the Orange Gallopinensis. Um, I used to say back in the day um, that these do look a lot like Gallopinensis, and they are very similar in every single way to Gallopinensis. For a while, some uh, hobbyists in Europe were trying to say they were there to corner and sell them for uh, a lot more money than they should have been, but we won't get into that in this video. Um, so, what this video is really about is sizes. A lot of people assume, oh, the South American Giants, they're born massive. Well, they are born pretty big in comparison to, of course, you know, like a Rio Grande or perhaps a uh, Heroes. Um, but they aren't all that massive. This one is only a couple molts in, and as you can see, it's a decent size, but this Heroes and the Rio Grande are both bigger than it. Um, now, these two, the Rio Grande and the Heroes, were likely both born early this year, um, and this was born later this year. So obviously these guys got a head start on this one right here. Um, but the size still is, you know, with all things considered how big these guys get on average, it's really similar. Um, now Heroes is known to easily attain lengths of 7, 8 inches and sometimes even up to 10. Um, I've heard 12, but I've never really seen any credible evidence of 12 inch Heroes. Um, but 10 inches, yeah, it's, I've seen very credible pictures of 10 inch heroes. Um, and that's about the average size of a Gallopinensis. Now Gallopinensis, or whatever you want to call this, Robusta, or, you know, uh, Species Ecuador, these guys get about 10 inches on average. They, they do get, you know, 12 inches sometimes. That is uh, true, these ones can get that size. There is uh, reputable evidence of 12 inch Robusta. Um, however, not so much with these guys, but these two can get just about the same size. Um, these ones need a little more heat and a, a lot more food to get the 10 inches that these ones will average when just taken care of properly. Um, and then these guys right here, the Rio Grande, I don't think they could ever reach a 10 inch length. The Rio Grande, I know, can get pretty good size, like uh, 7 inches and perhaps even 8 inches. Um, but not that 10 inches. Uh, either way, again, they're all at similar life si or stages, and they're similar sizes. This one is a little younger, of course. So by the time this one is the age of these two, it will be considerably larger. It'll be thicker, probably the same length here as the Heroes, but definitely thicker. Since this one just molted, um, they're usually pretty robust, these Rio Grandes, um, but it's not super robust right now. As you can see, he's still squishy and little after that molt. So once he dries up a bit, we'll get him some food and he'll get thickened up. But then let's take a closer look at this guy. So these have a disproportionately large head when they're peedlings. I think that's kind of funny looking. I like it. Um, it's a really neat uh, trait that only really the South American giants have. Even some of those centipedes like the Ryu giant, even though their head is disproportionate like this when they're big, uh, when they're peedlings, they're really nothing like this. This is a unique trait to those South American giants, that big fat head. And then the Heroes right here. All of us, of course, have seen Heroes peedlings. This one just had a meal, so he's nice and plump. and He's ready to go. But anyways, uh, I'm going to cut the video off there. This was just mainly, you know, obviously size comparison of all three of these. Um, but thank you for watching. 
Um, stay tuned. We're doing the uh, tutorial video tonight on this Heroes. And then there's going to be a tutorial video coming up on an enclosure for this guy right here. We already went over the Polymorpha slash Astaquorum. So that one's done. But anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Like, subscribe. Please share this video anywhere you can. Check me out on Instagram at Mike's House of a Thousand Legs. Underscores in between each word, of course. Um, and we'll see you next time.